welcome to another episode of Literary Gladiators, the show where we discuss and debate literature in all of its forms. If it's written work, it's game. Let's meet the panel. Hi, I'm Larry. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm Tori. And I'm Josh. Uh, Tori, welcome back to our panel. Uh, Glad to be back. Always, uh, it's always a delight to have you on. <laughs> and I just love being on the panel with Tori. Like, it's so much fun. It's just <laughs> a great... We... Especially since we all apparently do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're in the same places at the same time, and yet you don't notice. No idea. <laughs> then again, I mistook uh, Jesse, or I mistook Tori for Jesse uh, earlier today. Oh, is that why? But earlier he was like, "Oh, it's Tori," and I was like, "Oh, okay then." Ouch! <laughs> Even I felt that burn. <laughs> I was just, I it was just because I was. Who wants an ouch, pal? My hair is usually this color. It went darker. Yeah, <laughs> That's you were wearing sunglasses. I should have known that <laughs> Jesse's sunglasses are darker. Yeah. And Bug-like. Tori's uh, are like a, a Maruki Murakami cover. <laughs> I want you to see yourself. See but yourself in me. Today we're going to be going over a short story by Catherine Ann Porter called Rope. And it was very interesting to say the very least. And Tori, uh, you have a discussion starter for this one. I do, and it's not specifically about the story itself, it's about the title, Rope. Um, why do you think it was given that specific name, Rope? Because in the story, there is a piece of rope, you know, a rope comes into question, it is a plot point, but what do you think the significance of that is? I'm going to toss it to Larry. Oh, uh, we, got, we got an answer here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say what, uh, what I told Josh earlier, was that uh, he's probably going to hang himself with that rope. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. At the beginning of the story, yes, that's, I think, mm. if we look at it from a conventional standpoint, you have that tropey, you know, like, rope, and there's an argument between two people, and that's Well, he gets homeless and starts screaming at a word for having the rope. Yeah, it's um, like, uh, because I whoa! Feel, I feel the whole story's about... Uh, a fight. It, it's about a fight, but I've come to the conclusion that the, the theme... It's, it, first of all, it's interesting that these characters don't have names. It's he and she. Oh, and there's no quotation marks. Everything is yeah, written. Yeah, I have an interesting like, thing to say. Yeah, and we have no idea that. what yes. happened, right? Was the rope on the eggs? Was it not on the eggs? Was uh, was uh, was she? Did he cheat on her? Didn't he? You know, it's like they're they're yelling at you, you know, mm -hmm. and talking around the issues. But there's no separation. It's just all back and forth. So you right. have no idea mm. what actually happened. Uh, the way I kind of to address your discussion question. Um, the way I kind of saw it is not only like being that he showed up with the rope without her coffee, obviously, is what kind of started the argument. But That's I think a pretty snarky what, reply. Yeah. But uh, no, uh, to go a little deeper, um, not just what started the argument, um, I feel like the way this was written was to make you feel disconnected from the characters. Like, you hmm. are. You you are that rope. You are not part of any of it. Ah, you are just sitting back and watching and seeing it. And that's how you can tell that what started this argument was so trivial. Yeah, it was inconsequential. Nobody knows yeah. what actually happened. All you're seeing is the two of them fighting about it. I think in actuality, it's the opposite. And it's kind of like a rope. Yeah, I was just about to say, this was actually, a, when I say idyllic, because um, like a simple slice of life. Like, these sort of arguments happen every single day. You, before we started filming, literally just said that you felt that this was very referential. You To were, my own To your argument. own life, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because I think we all get into boyfriend. these points mm -hmm. where, like, you live with these people and you had the added stress of them moving to a new place and everything is different and there's foreign things uh, that were happening to them of they were in a different environment completely. Um, so you have all these stressors that kind of add on, add on, add on, on. And then you have this one stupid it's the straw that broke the camel's back this random piece of rope which was you know out of the norm out of the ordinary and so much so out of the ordinary by being an ordinary object that that was kind of the breaking point mm -hmm. and i think what i find very interesting about the story is the more i thought about the story the more i realized the point of the story was not to think deeply in it it was to literally just have this situation happen it wasn't so much as this is an allegory for the way that common you know modern uh, contemporary marriage is like if you just look at it as this is a story about a man and a woman who could be anyone. It could be you, it could be your neighbor, it could be That's your mother. Exactly and what I'm I think what we rope has a lot of different iconography to it. Mm -hmm. You said umbilical cord. 
you said, you know, representing death, suicide. I think the rope is just uh, an object. It's a random object that was placed in the situation and it was the catalyst for something that, and then at the end of the story, resolves itself because things did it yeah i think it's it a very hits, it, it hits this point where you know he comes back from they both have their separate moments and she made dinner and he loves this woman and then it kind of had this yes is this doomed to repeat itself yeah it's kind of almost implied but that's life. i feel it's i don't know it's uh, either a feminist argument yeah or no definitely anti, not yeah, because you have but if it's a feminist argument, the female half is very controlling and domineering. It's right the, here. The it fact is that under she his lens. here's a quote I picked up: the way that she she walked beside him with one hand hooked into his leather belt, she pulled and jostled him a little as he walked and leaned against him. Uh, again, uh, yeah, and walked. It's almost as if she's controlling him, like he's either a child or a pet. See, I don't that. see it like that. Yeah. I actually see it as, because uh, it, let me just make sure that's at the very end when yeah, he comes when back from the coffee, back. right? In a way, it so, be deemed like, as romantic. You know what? The, the thing is, like, it's not even romantic. It's, it's, and the only reason why I can even, like, why I got this is because I literally pictured my boyfriend and I having this argument. Like, I didn't picture a totally different woman, a totally different man. Exactly. No, I pictured us because and that's, that's exactly how, so how I would have reacted. There, that's yeah. exactly how he would have reacted. That's exactly what I would have said. That's exactly what he would have said. And the thing is, when he goes and gets my coffee, I'd still make him dinner because he's still my man. And when he comes back, guess what? I'm him? still happy Forget to your see coffee? him. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Because like, you had the had Nah, the I agree with Josh, man. She's, she's, she's out of her mind. And he comes home with some groceries. She comes home. He comes home with some groceries, and she just leans into him at 150 miles an hour. What are you doing with rope? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about, lady? I just got here. Oh, now the eggs are broken. Yeah, probably broke them right now because you're screaming at them. Well, see, that's the difference, and and I think that's what it's trying to, in a way, kind of portray is like exactly oh, how he me. saw it is how you saw it that she yeah. ran into him for no reason but whereas as a woman interpreting this i know exactly just why a woman, a, an individual who thought oh this person is going to do this thing and they came back because they came they came back distracted they didn't have the objects that oh, they said that they, they were going to get yeah and that thing, think, well, so what a sin but also there is the added like what you saw was they were pulling at threads kind of another rope yarn they were pulling at different threads and that's of, where it came you know up. things that were more and in more past. in the past and the unresolved mm -hmm. so you cheated on me but you cheated on me but you said this and da, 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 da. so it kind of is that weight of not just you forgot my coffee but it's this always happens and then it kind of like i said doomed to repeat itself yeah it resolved itself at the end but it's that overarching this is how these two fight and then resolve themselves they go off they, they think about it they get it out of their system and then they come back and they realize that these reason the reason that they're together is because they love each other and it's, that's it's interesting that. how it took uh, how circumstances of this nature took place but you got to look uh, at the deeper picture where it's, the, the fact of the matter was he was sent back out to Bring yeah, back he's the not, rope he's and bring not, he's back not, he's the not a particularly bright guy, obviously. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. he's okay, average. but that's he's not his fault. Individual. And she married him, so but she here, didn't I mean, it. And here's the thing is, like, and what I'm trying to say, it's like the fight wasn't just about, oh, he forgot the coffee and bought a rope instead. There were No kidding, but that's what that, he got screamed at the second he got home. Well, yes, but like she said, that's building things up. <laughs> so it, it's just like, I mean, if you take things like, oh, well, he said he was going to do this and he didn't do it. It's okay. I'll let it slide. Oh my gosh! You know he forgot. I'll let this. it slide. It How nice of you. Well, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's it happens. It's, like it's something. Well, you go get your own coffee. Yeah, everybody. But everybody. Well, no, does that's what I sort of think. You have to also have to like, <laughs> both. Uh, oh, that broke. That's okay. I'll just clean it up. I, I forgive you. And it's but not you know so that actually a, makes me mad. A man so then I hold thing. on to that. Normal person. All right. Yeah, and a normal person. It's just a normal person. Somebody, if it's something actually makes you mad, but you try to brush it off because you don't want to start something you're gonna hold on to that anger that anger is gonna build up and then like you said something small like you forgot my coffee and bought a rope what the f is wrong with you all right like yeah everybody does that i know i've done it because i w i worked 
full time. I went to school full time. You I got. Live with I a failed this members, exam. Like this happened at school. Well, this happened at work. And then I come home, and guess what? Michael happened to forget that I asked him to pick up some orange juice. Why? Like, All right, I can, like, I can tell happens. you this happened recently. My mom. It's not Michael's fault. My mom. No, it's not. But that's what starts an argument. Exactly. Uh -huh. Like my mom texted me while I was at work the other day. Like, please go get some milk. I can tell you that was at the beginning of my work shift. Eight hours later, I forgot to go get the milk. And she had a bad day. I didn't know that. Walked into it and like, so that started an argument. That's one specific day on one specific yeah. instance. So I went back out and I got the milk. But and when we came back, like everybody had dinner. It was perfectly fine. It was like nothing ever happened. And that's the thing. So that so happens when you live with people. There are idiosyncrasies and quirks that everybody has. The interesting thing is that, 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 in, that, that in some cases, this happens. is more like a, a mother and son relationship sometimes. It almost feels that I don't way. think so. I think it's just well, she's a normal dominating, Josh. Definitely. I agree with you. I'm with you. She's dominating. I, I don't know. I feel like she. But in many the cases, there are marriages that are very much person. mother son. I would mean, act if somebody came home without their coffee. I, that's yeah. all I know about her. All right. I don't know anything else. And that's exactly the point that I was going to make. Is but we're the, seeing her through his lens at that no, instance of the. Of no, the, I'm just, no. Um, but we're seeing it through whatever lens it is. Like I mean, there's no lens. It's just. It's just. It's from and that's why I'm saying, you know, the way it was written is very disconnected. It's not written from anybody's point of view. Yeah. And that's what it's trying. It's trying to show you that. Mm -hmm. And this is and this is how I interpreted it. This is how I took from it. When I look back at any argument I've ever had with any person, it's generally over something stupid and trivial, mm -hmm. like coffee. Yeah. All right. And but the thing is, it brings up, you know, that's what gets you started. That's what gets the anger happening. And then it's this thing and that thing. And you said that a year ago and you did that two years ago. And maybe I didn't want to do this. And there's that whole blowout fight where you get all that anger out and then you walk away. You spend some time away from each other. And lo and behold, things are better. Hey, it didn't really matter. Like it didn't happen because essentially what started the whole argument that got all that arg like uh, all that anger from both sides out. It's like the was straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's and that's exactly all it was. Like it was. and I feel like that's what it was from both sides because I mean, all right, yeah, she blew up, but to, why couldn't he just say she's she's blown up? He was angry too, which is why he said he something was bad. He was hot, it was a long day, it was a long walk. So, he yeah, just walked just, four miles she, to get something and forgot, forgot to get it. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, I, I feel like it was anger on both sides Absolutely. and, but, Absolutely. and again, it just kind of shows, and what, again, what I took from it is that, um, again, ha literally just having a almost very similar argument with my own boyfriend over something as stupid as the gym. I want you to understand that's what started this. The gym <laughs> started this argument that we had for five weeks. All right. Um, so that's again, why they should be shut down. <laughs> It's, it was something small, something trivial. Yeah. And if I take a step back and I look at it from a disconnected, like totally let go of my feelings and he lets, if I look at it and go, wow, I just spent five weeks of my life fighting over something so stupid that could easily be fixed. But it's perfectly human. Like but it, it's but that, it was human still my reaction. It was it. still his reaction. So uh, you mentioned something about the disconnection of the writing, like the actual technical aspect. I, I yes. want to talk about the writing um, at this point, which I found very interesting because that's not, it's very unusual. It doesn't have any quotations. Like you said, it's he, should, he said and she said and then he did and then she did. And what I found interesting about that is it almost came off as this wasn't a story. It was you walked into this person's house and was witnessing this. Yeah. Like it was more of a, a, a an account yeah. of something happening rather than a story. And I think that's what gives you that interesting ability to just sit back and, and process again. And putting I think yourself that's what makes shoes. it like relatable because absolutely, again as absolutely. I was saying before it's like I took a step back and realized how trivial my own life was but it's like everybody goes through this kinds of fight this kind of fight whether it's husband and wife boyfriend and girlfriends mother and son uh, mother and daughter like family members anybody can go through you know this kind of argument where it's just something little something trivial and I don't that's blown out of my portion. no no go ahead the, there's a story that I remember reading years ago it was called popular mechanics and it's oh, written uh, yeah, Raymond yeah, Carver. yeah it, it, and it's written in a very similar fashion they're physically and, fighting over the little baby yeah but it's written in that way where there's no quotes it's mm -hmm. you know I want the baby he said and then she said what I want the baby he said louder to, to, that, to that they're effect. getting a separation exactly but it, 
for some reason that's the first thing that came to mind when the two of them were arguing and it was written in that fashion. That story has a very different ending. Popular Mechanics is far more insane than Rogue. Yeah, that one, that one's you want to talk about hitting 150. <laughs> the, these two, the man's leaving her and then he turns around and is like, I want the baby. And the two literally start pulling oh God. Oh, on the Lord. child. And so that's where the the title Popular Mechanics is a play on words of it was a magazine if yeah. I remember correctly from that time and it's also Popular Mechanics it's the mechanics of this family and the mechanics of the physical pulling on the child yeah. um, so that's why the, the title Rope it has um, multiple functions it's the rope of you know it's the yarn that you're being told it's the tying the tethering of two people together and that relationship it's the object itself being an inconsequential just it's a rope um, it's a pile of, of rope. Um, so it, the title, as simple as it is, and this, uh, I'm curious as to wonder what you would name this story if you were given the chance, if you wrote the story, would it have another name? Um, or would rope be what would, you would name it? Is there something else that you would give it? I already it's know what Larry is gonna call it. Crazy lady. Crazy yeah, lady. Crazy, yeah. lady. <laughs> crazy overreacting woman. <laughs> I, it would be rope could have been because the fact that the fight was over a rope. Yeah, like that's the central focal point. It, so that um, makes sense. But and you know what I think about the title too is like, you know, it, it, it is. It's like a rope that you know you pull. You, you're at the end in the beginning, and then you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling of the rope. rope. Both these characters are at the end yeah. of their yeah, that rope, too. which yeah. is so how, like, and that's the thing. It's, it's like another, you know, yes, it was the rope she saw instead of her coffee which is what technically started it but that's but like you're saying you know and then she's like oh well now we can, now we're gonna have to throw the steak away or yeah we, like or yeah. get at it what are you, what are you coming from with it's that? all these well, she did drastic it, but it, it measures didn't, didn't make, sense. make any sense no. yeah exactly it's all the drastic reactions because every but like both people very obviously well, since just, they started oh, fighting well, he's about just like we're not things. gonna throw the meat away i mean i you know obviously which but and, and she <laughs> her reasoning is such as like this backpedaling of I can't make it now because now you're gonna do this and the timing is up and I've been doing this all day and blah, 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 Yeah, I mean yeah, I can't blame her for being yeah. mad about the eggs being broken. Yeah. And, 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 can't, and that's the thing, that's something that. anybody would be angry about, <laughs> I'll but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't about the rope, it wasn't about the eggs. It was clearly both parties had this Absolutely. pent up anger, which Absolutely. is why they ended up fighting about different things that you could almost rope. say that they their nerves were frayed yes <laughs> look at you play on words <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even catch it <laughs> she's she's got this <laughs> one hat on today <laughs> but yeah so that's i don't crazy. know i just i found it all very relatable and actually i and again just having been in a fight like very similar i found it to be good that mm. i'm not the only one I've been in fights about stupid stuff. I think everybody is, you know, in their life. Of course, mm -hmm. it's going to happen at some point. Everyone's life is annoying <laughs> at times. But I mean, like, I know least, that when at, I'm at least we're still Facebook buddies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Josh. Josh is right. I'm an asshole. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like when you're in these fights and or, or like in the aftermath, I always feel stupid because I'm like, wow, I just had a fight over this. Oh my god, this is retarded. It's to see that, time yeah, that but you to need. see that you know other people, these fights happen with other people mm. so much so that they actually wrote something about it. Like it yeah. actually kind of makes and me feel a little bit better. That's that why maybe I said I'm not like when I read it, I like I, I kept on trying to read yeah, too far into it, and that's why you just no, absolutely. I just you know I'm just. I'm a man, I guess, and you people are women. <laughs> no way. Oh, that explains stuff. Good lord. Jesse's also the only one that's in a relationship out of the three of out of the four. Yeah, that's true too. That's true too. Oh my god, no. But you guys are, are women, right? So I mean I think, you know, there's a difference in between men and women. The societal, you know construct that is you know women do this men do that and it's, well no it's i mean it's just happening that. right now right? And I, like, yeah you're relating more with the woman in the story and i'm relating more Absolutely. with the man and, and, and it, it did it's just happened because you said he's she's mad because gotta, she, it's like no, it's not like she's mad i had to record the last <laughs> the last paragraph or so of the piece uh okay. it went as follows he was a love, she firmly believed, and if she had had her coffee in the morning, she wouldn't have behaved so funny. Oh yeah, it's, it's the true coffee's though, fault. because and, and have, have you think, ever <laughs> seen someone who has never had their coffee? Yeah, I, I, I think the thing, I, the way I interpreted that 
Okay. And again, coming from the woman's point of view that's, who has overreacted over all the time. something silly yes. like yes. such. So and so, so and so can't function without their yeah. morning cup of coffee. But I, mean, the thing I wonder who so and so is. If I'm holding in a lot of anger and I'm like bottling it all up. Don't do it. If you didn't forget my coffee, guess what? I would have had nothing to be mad about exactly. to let it out. Exactly. So and it just keeps she's building. not wrong. It, and it just keeps building. It'll just keep building. So that way it's three and days from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's the, exactly. you know, like, like I said, pulling on those threads deeper and deeper and deeper in their past, so. Yeah. Let me continue. Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> there was a whippoorwill still coming back, imagine, clear out of season, sitting in the crab apple tree, calling all by himself. Maybe his girl stood him up. Maybe she did. She hoped to hear him once more. She loved whippoorwills. He knew how she was, didn't he? Sure, he knew how she was. It's and I did that, I, I wrote that last part separately from the rest. I feel that, it, and that's exactly how it, uh, that's exactly the way that it's, uh, the way that it's written. Yeah. To, like and again I the way I understood that from my point of view is and again I keep bringing up Michael but that's he that's he, your point yeah, of reference yeah. it's mm -hmm. like that's what he says it to me all the time he's like you're an anxiety anxiety ridden mess all the time I'm like yes you know that you're still with me you get that so of course you know expect me to blow up over something stupid every once in a while just like I know you're a stubborn a-hole like and you're gonna blow up over something stupid least, like the gym every once in a while least, so sir, it's like at least you have the thick skin to admit that yeah <laughs> and, and the thing is anybody who can't admit that mm -hmm. you know obviously shouldn't be expecting somebody else to mm -hmm. put up with them and yet mm -hmm. and, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I'm perfect I mean anybody who thinks they're perfect you know uh, mm, uh, let me not even say. He yeah. does know how she is because if he didn't, he mm. wouldn't be with her. And that's why like the, same, and the thing, same thing with her and, and, and him being an idiot. Yeah, because exactly. he is clearly like, an idiot, she, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, he went. The whole point in him going to the store was to get eggs and coffee, yeah. and he he got the eggs, and along with some other things and a rope, but no coffee. So it's like she knows how he is too, and she knows that so she has to accept that as well yeah. and she has to you know do her part in the relationship and i think that's why at the end you know when they both had their time to cool down they both did realize you know hey you know we we are not perfect and that's yeah, okay i messed up and i've messed up in the past but yeah that's what makes us and the thing is you know i like i said in the same situation i you know i might be angry but i'd still make dinner he might be angry but he'd still go get the coffee yeah. and at the yeah, end that it's normal like, pattern res resumes and mm -hmm almost like a mirror, you know, held up against humanity. This is this is us, that's being human, that's being in a relationship with other individuals. And yeah. the thing is, the psychologists say all the time that healthy couples fight. If they didn't mm -hmm. fight, they don't care, they shouldn't be together. The mm -hmm. one so you know what, they're a healthy couple. <laughs> well, I, I think the, the strong point here, and this was the one thing that I found interesting, is that it doesn't resolve, it, this, the argument dissolves. It's not resolved. The two go off, they think about the stuff, they cool down, they come back, all of a sudden that's perfectly fine. So, it, and that's like a large population of us, that's how it is. They don't I think the, the one, the, it's kind of almost that bittersweet note of, yes, they end and everybody's lovey-dovey and the birds are singing and uh, they made their dinner and this, that and the other things, but it's not resolved. I mean, it might not be resolved know, in the story. I know, like... And that's not something all, that yeah. needs to be resolved. Yeah, because it comes down to the fact that there's never going to be an ultimate understanding. Your own behavior. That's the only thing that each of us can yeah, resolve is our own behavior. And that's why, ultimately, I think this is just a, more of a, like, a, like I said, it's hmm. holding the mirror up to show, you know, humanity yeah. its face. Like, and this is how we are. And it's not a comment. Mm -hmm. It's not commentary. It's not supposed to be this deep allegory, as I said previously mentioned. It is. It's just... It's a scene. It's human. Yeah, exactly. It's a tableau. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I liked it. I, I don't know. I guess maybe because I just oh, no, I liked it. it. I, I thought it was very good. I, 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 I thought it, it, was, I thought it was entertaining as hell. It was yeah, very it was. I was like, boy, am I glad I'm not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Actually, I would recommend it to anybody who wants to basically realize if you, when you take a step back away from your feelings, everything you fight about is trivial. Yeah. And, and it's it's humorous in a way. It's a, it's a wonderful people watching without people watching because yeah. it's, like I said, without the quotations and the way that it's mechanic, it 
technically is written, it feels like you've literally just wandered in on these two people arguing. So it's a really great commentary without being too deep and too wordy on how humanity, you know, Because you don't, you, you don't, uh, you don't, well, he's now feeling this, she's now feeling that. You don't it's get any of that. It's a literally just, he said, yeah. she said, he yeah. said, she said, that's it. I think in a way this is people, per, uh, this is perfect people watching because oh, yeah. you, you usually, if you're a, an observer, in, Nine it's out of ten natural times, human in their natural you're habitat. not gonna you're not gonna know the people's names. You're not gonna know exactly what they said. You're gonna know the emotions, and you may get bits and pieces out of it. Probably the first the things that would pop up the most is da 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 da, -da rope rope coffee. Yeah, you got, you got the little players. Yeah, you just, said this a year ago. Well, yeah. I didn't mean it then. I told you I apologized for it. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's a lot better to read so about it than actually watch it happen. Mm -hmm. This is, oh I wouldn't God. say this is my favorite I mean, short story that I've ever read. <laughs> Imagine being in somebody's well, house. It's a good one. It's, it's a fun a, one. I think it's a quick one. This is a couple's piece. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I think mean, they it's a piece a, about a couple. I think they'd have a good time laughing about this, especially I somebody did. that goes through like, yeah. the same thing. Yeah, unless they yeah, start yeah. fighting over it. <laughs> what to say? Unless it causes the fight, then... Mm. Well, I mean, it could definitely get you talking. Definitely, yeah. yeah. It's a good starting point for the like, hey, look at this. I mean, Maybe we could actually sort some of this stuff house. out instead exactly. of blowing and up. Like I everything. said, it's a good commentary. It's a good reflection mm -hmm. uh, on on. It's an opportunity, people. I think, right, for I'm couples sure to me. talk about the the relationships that they're in, how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out how maybe each can make the other's life a little easier. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It, yeah. it shows the, you know, being aware of the other person is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being mindful. All right. Mindful, yes. Being There's, mindful. This can be found on so many outlets. Uh, I got it from Shadow and Faith, uh, Literature uh, and the Life of Faith. Yeah. I found it on a, a, like a short story website, and then when I went to go look at it yesterday, it was taken down for various reasons. So. Oops. What? Oops. It's a Google uh, issue. Yeah, you can easily yeah, Google this. Yeah. yeah. There's a, a selected stories collection that she put together, This is, which is where it's from, but I haven't gotten a hold of that one yet. But be sure to join us next time for another episode of Literary Gladiators. And for now, keep reading. <laughs>